Hey guys, this is XT. Today I'm going to talk about compound pendulum. So, a compound pendulum is a pendulum that could be anything like a baseball bat that has a center of gravity. Let's say this is the center of gravity, G. And this is the hanging point where it will swing from. So, we say that this di distance from here to here is L. Okay? When it swings, suppose, it swings from here to here in theta degree angle. Okay, then the torque it produces would be tau equal some kind of force crossed with the uh, crossed with the length L would will be the length. Here is the center of gravity. The mass the whole mass of this object uh, is centered on this point so the weight of this object will drop down like this that will be mg it would have uh, two components one component will be mg cos theta and other one, other one will be mg sin theta we all know that uh, this cos theta component uh, will be neutralized by the tension of this uh, pendulum and the other one mg sin theta would be the one to push the pendulum backwards it will decelerate the motion of the pendulum if the angle theta is less than 4 degrees theta is less than 4 degrees then we can say that sine theta is almost equal to theta so mg sine theta reduces to mg theta and that's a force we can uh, replace that force by F so let's write down tau equal mg theta L this is the pro torque produced by uh, the pendulum um, by swinging and because of uh, because that's uh, the pendulum is uh, decelerating uh, in this words this way uh, that's why uh, it would have a torque like this tau equal i theta double dot double dot means the second derivative of the theta that means it's, it's the acceleration angular acceleration and this is and this quantity here is called the moment of inertia so it gives us the force oh sorry the torque now let me clear this out first so we can say that the angular momentum into the second derivative of the uh, angle uh, angular displacement is equal to negative mg theta l this negative sign is because i can show you like this theta is going this way and mg is uh, acting uh, on this way that's why uh, these two are opposite that's why we we have to give a negative sign a negative sign then we can write it like this
then dividing both sides by i we give we get theta double dot m g l i theta equal zero now this quantity here is m g l and we can write down i as m l square so m m cancel and l l cancels so we are left with g over l we will re replace this by this so let's do that give me a moment please okay g by l we have an equation a uh, differential equation for theta so um, if, if this is a differential equation of uh, simple harmonic motion then we can say this quantity here it must be the angular momentum squared so we can write that omega squared theta equal zero and we can all solve for this equation you already know what would be the uh, solve for this equation that is let me show you okay uh, theta equal theta max sine omega t plus delta okay mm, we have solved theta uh, I'm, I'm not going to show how to solve this uh, because it's uh, very easy and uh, very big you can solve it your own everybody can I'm interested to talk about the periodic time let me show you something new periodic time t equal two pi omega and as we know omega equal sorry omega square is equal to mg l by i so that gives us omega equal root mg l by i so uh, the term becomes uh, something like this 2 pi square root of i m g l i is the moment of inertia that is that we can write it as k square k square plus L square into M K square is the the radius of gyration so it would be the radio uh, uh, it would be uh, now I don't know where the fuck did, did this I don't know where the fuck did this gyroscope no, came from I will, I will surely make another video about this uh, this one after I, after I find out uh, what in the world caused them to write down such uh, such kind uh, such such equations like this that doesn't make any sense so let's just pretend for now uh, that it is k square m plus l square m so our period will be 2 pi root over m a square plus l square 
एम जी एल एम एम गोज डाउन टू फाइव दो बार जी एल प्लस के स्क्वायर ओवर एल वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस वे वी हैव सीन दैट वी ऑल फिजिक्स स्टूडेंट एट सम पॉइंट सी दैट दिस इक्वेशन हेयर टी वर्सेस एल इफ वी ग्राफ इट like this way it gives an uh, a graph like this now my question is now what is it causing to this uh, causing this time period to go down first then changing its mind and then uh, rising up again how is this possible well i have make uh, some assumption it might be true or not let's see okay we have what we have here t equal some constant that is 2 pi 2 pi is a constant like that's why we write k instead of that k1 at uh, to be precise then l plus 1 plus k square is also a constant so we write k2 and then l then g is also a constant so we write as k3 so if uh, it it's it matches a, a sort of uh, it matches equations has like this y y equal uh, let me clear it out y equal root over x plus 1 by x Okay. What is the uh, equation? Uh, what is the graph of root over x? It is like this. And what's the graph of one uh, by root over x? That's uh, something like this. And if x tends to infinity what happens to this equation we see that if x tends to infinity this term here goes down to zero we are left with root over x so from here this uh, that equation uh, that equations graphs must look like this and then if x tends to zero what happens then these terms goes zero but this term uh, rises up rapidly so it follows this curve like this we can already see this curve is uh, going down then changing its mind then going up again just like we saw before and this sort of equation uh, matches this sort of equation so we can see here uh, here is an l and here is an 1 by l term so when l goes to 0 this term goes up that means it's infinity at zero we can see that over here and when l goes to infinity this terms become zero and it's it becomes a like an equation like root over l that's why it behaves like this this is the reason why uh, increasing l causes t to go down uh, from uh, go down to a point then returning back up and going up that's um, that it might be true or not i i don't know but it's the most significant uh, reason i found why this behave like this but i cannot visualize this in real world how how is this possible thank you for watching uh, and ha uh, yes
don't don't bother my English uh, mistakes. It's very bad. I really suck at English. Uh, so never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Lol. If you have any questions, uh, you can comment below. Um, if you have have any suggestions, uh, you can also comment that and let me know uh, so that I can make this video better and. Next time I will post uh, a lot of video of our harmonic uh, oscillation series in more detail.